Hello, welcome to the video. So we're going to model a female picture here. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to download the picture. Afterwards, you'll need to edit the picture. using paint so you have the first picture as it is and you'll need to save the second picture with the you could say rotated view so let me just check here so we'll just flip it horizontally and save as uh, v2 then close then we're done with the first part so the the next part is opening blender then afterwards you'll need to put a check on the background image click open for the folder or the download folder okay so this is the picture press 5 okay so press 5 to for autographic view then make sure to adjust the picture at the center for me I always center at the belly button so that it will be easier for me to model then set this one as front then minimize then add another image so this time we're going to open the version 2 okay where is that folder here okay downloads v2 okay so right now it's overlapping the other picture so you just press 3 and it will go for the right side view then change this one to right side view and also make sure that your opacity is 0.8 so that it will be a bit clearer and there first page is done or first part is done so we'll just save us uh, let's see just save it as female and delete everything inside cube anything that was initially inside so as you can see here one three one three so we will start now so the video will be divided in multiple parts so we'll be starting with the head then afterwards the next part will be the body okay so right now we'll just put in the cube then afterwards press W subdivide smooth it depends on you if how much you want it to use or how much adjustment you will need to do on the, the on the object so as you can see here I'll be the previous model I did was using uh, number of cuts in two so right now I'll be using the same thing so as you can see here it's already done then we're going to go for the right side view scale the scale the sphere or the previous cube
and make sure that it's almost equal to the size of the head so that you will get almost the same model as mine or you could just try your own style as well so make an adjustment here okay then go to the front side view okay so we'll just bring it here okay so we'll just adjust the right picture here or the right side view needs to okay just minimize that's why we always minimize the picture so that we won't be confused to when we're adjusting the position of the picture so just okay there so we will just try to estimate since you could see here that the head is not straight so we'll just need to okay I think that's good so right now as you could see here this is a circle so you need to count one two three one two three and this two will be the one you'll need to adjust then press O so that it will uh, when you as you can see here it will affect the whole shape so grab then decrease the size at least half then pull it down here then here we start adjusting the head you can see here it's uh, forming nicely the good thing about this mod is that it has all the sides that you need and also before you start to adjust all the um, shapes again make sure to press O so that it will disable the I don't know the feature but whenever that button is pressed or active it affects a whole lot of area on the model okay so just adjust Okay, done. We're done with the head. So that's it. The head part is done. So it's I. It's up to you which one do you want to follow, the right view or the front view, because both of them doesn't give the same. You could say uh, they are not equally on. Uh, they are not. Uh, the shape is not really the same as you could see here so the next part is the neck so we're going to extrude drag down scale to Z then press 0 then that will flat down the bottom or the neck part and always make sure it's here control R and create two loop cuts then shrink or then scale then number three to view at the to view at the right view okay drag here the shape here okay W loop loop tools circle There you have it the head uh, with the neck so we'll just need to adjust a bit more here ok 
Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so we're going to go for the body. So this time, when you try to create the body itself, you need to make uh, you need to extrude or create the lines where you want certain parts to be placed. For example, uh, let's go down here. So usually for me. I will drag it down here so that it will hit the shoulder. Then drag it down here again so that it will be half of the breast. Then here again, that will cover the whole breast. Afterwards, just drag it down. Down. Yeah, it depends on you how much, uh, how many times you want to drag, uh, drag the item down, so that you could get the shape that you want. Okay. So this time we're going to, oh yes, always scale at X, so that it will be it will be easier to adjust the other parts. And also, uh, since you're relying on a drawing, you need to focus on which part you want to, or which side you want to, uh, you want to copy or model so usually i go for the right uh, for this side so as you can see here even though it overlaps here i always estimate my side here down Okay, so we got the shape of the body. This time we're just going to just so just add a loop cut whenever it's needed so that you could get the shape. And whenever you handle the breast, make sure you just don't add anything else yet just need to follow the shape of the body so right now you might not see the shape that you want but later uh, you will see it after we're done with the with this one Actually, regarding models like this, you need to just estimate. As much as possible, don't add too much loop cuts. Just add them when you feel this, it is necessary, so that you don't have a lot of things to adjust because right now we're just doing a, a low poly model so it's not something that you could use uh, it's not something that you'll be using for like creating a very high detailed character so just like that 
Afterwards, you need to click all these four or eight boxes here. X and delete face. Then on the arm. Then on the arm, four boxes. X then faces okay so let's see how she will look like right now so W smooth then add modifier then shade smooth so we got our model so that's for the first part so just a bit more adjustment so usually just always remember use X to adjust so that you will get the same model as mine always focus on the right side or yes on the right side of the model right now uh, on the right side of the picture so that you uh, so so that you won't get the wrong size so that's it that's it for the first part 